Is it, they're both going? Uh, I think so. Should I clap? Go for it. Because we can't both clap. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Action. Action. It's kind of a weak clap. Right? All right. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. The podcast. Trying the video podcast. Because, uh, yeah, because YouTube is the only thing I can get it on for free. Hell yeah. So I was like... You know they demon... Are you in the... Have you heard of the monetized thing? I haven't, but like I never monetized, monetized my videos. People? I, yeah, I, I never. You need to, I think you need a certain amount of like. Yeah, certain amount subscribers. Of, yeah, exactly, or. exactly. But yeah, I also had no uh, intention of monetizing the videos like mm. that, like um, the whole uh, against uh, advertising thing. Yeah. For my shit or whatever. So I was like, I would, I was, you know, I figured I'd put the whatever the fucking donate thing. Of Patreon. I'm not on it yet, but yeah, I figured one of those, and uh, there's a. But now people even leave that now. Because I know, I've heard one of, <laughs> every every corporation has some agenda that right yeah some group doesn't like we're we're, we're trapped in this system of uh, exploitation whatever. but yeah, yeah so I don't have to, I do have to worry about yeah some of those but not yeah. the not the YouTube thing uh, they'd have to just be like you know cancel the whole account basically our boy PewDiePie left I don't he know left, what it, he left YouTube he left YouTube I've, I think of he's the video game. Yeah, he's like the biggest guy ever. He's the guy, yeah. He's Swedish, he played video games, and... I'm too old. He, if you <laughs> watch the videos, it's just like garbage. Like, he's just playing a game, he's going, and it's, just, it's like for kids. Oh, okay. That's what a lot of these big YouTube things, they're just for children. Yeah, so yeah, if, if I'm under, If I'm ever asking, why does this have 10 million views? Like, oh, kids. And they're watching it Gundam over and over, style, too. Same thing, yeah, yeah. But anyways, he left uh, YouTube, I think, because they demonetize him or something but he went to like some other video yeah. streaming site yeah so he's kind of like the Howard Stern of like <laughs> when when he moved to Sirius yeah so Pootie Pie is kind of like leading this new oh, it's a pay platform thing. it's not like yeah. you... I, I don't know exactly how it works but I just know he moved that was a big deal because he was in literally the number one oh, uh, wow. this guy on YouTube like most views most subscribers and he, just, he left oh shit he was unhappy yeah fuck yeah yeah, I mean, YouTube's been around for a long time, since like 2005, and uh, for the most part, it's been chill, but mm -hmm. in recent years, you know, as companies, whatever, was bought by Google, all that shit, fucking increasingly, uh, whatever controls, um, you know, that as uh, there's a famous story, of, you know, Google work trying to get into the market in China and stuff like that, so they have mm -hmm. to implement these authoritarian, like, procedures. What is an abandoned China? Some shit like that. There's, there was something like because I don't. I never followed up on it, but it was like, uh, yeah, because they have their own version, right? Right. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Where I know. I'm pretty sure Facebook is banned in China, and maybe YouTube is as well. Yes. I just know that like all porn. I think <laughs> all porn. I think so. In China, like all the big porn sites, the free ones. Right. Well, which, yeah. Well, you could go on because my friend was just there. You could go on and. Um, through like VPN and like, I guess sort of like the dark net, you could you know get access to the websites. But, but I think they've even like made that kind of difficult. You need to. You right. need you need to be uh, right. It ain't easy to get pretty slick to, to get it. porn. Yeah, that's or, fucking insane. But it makes perfectly sense for an authoritarian system to suppress sexuality. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I get that. <laughs> they do. I bitch about them doing that everywhere. Wait, so sorry. So wait, what did so wait, what did they do? You said Google tried to Oh no, do but something initially in um, because Google was, you know, it's a global corporation, they're trying to expand into other markets. Uh, -huh. uh and many of those markets are hyper authoritarian yeah. societies. <laughs> um, those societies demand like uh, controls on the, the, the content. Right. So in the process, a company coming from a free society or a relatively free society can develop techniques that would have never evolved in its home society, mm. or perhaps it's slower to evolve there, it'll develop hyper authoritarian control techniques of information that, yeah. it'll, that it will then bring back to the home society and apply there. If it huh. learns, like, any, like uh, yeah, just speculating, you know. I don't well, know it seems to be going all like it's just all addiction based, like the algorithm, right? Like when I go on YouTube now, like everything, but it's all it's all the same. It's the same as Facebook and Twitter, just like. Whatever you liked before, it will feed you. It's sort of yeah, flat. exactly, exactly. The algorithm, while very smart, is still kind of dumb. It's kind of like looking. Yeah. It's um, 
Mine's pretty good on YouTube. It's getting like, better. It tells me the eight videos. If I go on my homepage and it shows me eight videos of what it thinks I like, and I'm like, yeah. now maybe I'm not very picky. And I'm like, oh, I'll just check that out. That's what most. But I, it's like shit I've been looking at, and uh, it's like, okay, that's cool. And, and yeah, in general, new little, ones. but there's a broad spectrum of shit you might want to be watching, mm-hmm. and for it to to offer a, um, you know. A, small subset of what you could possibly want even though it is things that you might want yeah it's not necessarily very good at selecting what you want right now or you look for which in case you just search or whatever but i almost now i go to that site almost like i turn on a tv i I I don't go to the site and say oh i'm gonna search recently i heard unless i'm like do that or something 80 percent of people just like go to whatever's the offered thing and click one of those as opposed to searching out shit because my brain goes, I want to watch YouTube, not I want to watch a specific this thing. Yeah, yeah, dog yeah. video on YouTube. It's become like TV. It really has. It's crazy. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah, and then you know, and yeah, like most uh, whatever, just like TV, most consumers are passively engaged with it, so it's going to be yeah. a, a um, you know, that sort of make sure this fucking thing is hell yeah. Look at that sound waves. Yep. <laughs> Fucking sound waves. This is exactly how I imagine your room would be. <laughs> Full of garbage bags. <laughs> yeah, cinder, old clothes. Cinder blocks. Yeah, I'm cinder blocks. <laughs> and then like PA probably a, a nice homemade computer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not that new, right? I mean, maybe no, that, that's like ten years fucking ago. Fucking old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to have one of those. I got so nerdy with that. I got like the clear, the clear case, and you go to fries and you shop and. You got to glue the... Did you make it? Uh, yeah, I built... Well, it's I mean, so you know... Making, you glue it, the, I didn't make make it. I, I ordered the parts from yeah. the company, you know, that I want to advertise. But it, I put it on, you know, put in the fucking... All yeah. the different components. Because you can get the but more that counts. components. I mean, you're still, like, gluing... I mean, you're not... No, there's you're one just, part where you're gluing You're just the pushing thing. cards you're into the screw stuff. It, yeah. yeah, and screw, I mean, that counts. You know, the in-house screws. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it counts to some extent. I didn't buy some fucking, like, um, yeah, prepackaged thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Well, it was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, and it was pretty cheap, you know, to get it in parts yeah. too, as opposed to like some, you know. Didn't they have like a thirty? Th- uh, the new MacBooks like thirty-five thousand dollars or something? Some I don't insane know. number. I mean, that's so far. Out of, like I remember seeing uh, whatever the fuck they are, the, the the desktop ones, the really badass fucking the G four screen, whatever, whatever the fuck they are yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. And it was like oh, sixteen hundred or whatever, yes. and it was just like. This is an amazing computer, but I can never get this. Huh. But it, you know, still amazing. But you know, uh, it, once once it's one hundred and fifty dollars, I might be able to get it. Apple, get on this <laughs> shit. It's a whole price coming down with technological advancement thing. Sometimes it happens. But yeah, I, fucking. Uh, I've been thinking with YouTube, like I need to fucking stop watching going on the internet so much. That's like my biggest. A lot of people are saying, like, with the phones and stuff or whatever. Just every, all of it, like, the phones and the actual yeah. computer, like, it's... People are telling I, me to do I more. don't know how to stop. Like, it's, like, worse than any d- drug I've ever been on. Like, really? Like, I make st- little rules. That's how you know you're, like, in trouble. Like, I'll make rules, like, all right, you know, an hour before bed, I won't go online Shit. at all. And I can't do it. Huh. Maybe I'll do it one day. Can't do it. So I need. Yeah, I never. It like, sounds so pathetic to like I need some sort of system of to stop me. A lot but I of really think I do. Those things, I don't like, know how else to do it. I can't do it on my own. I don't get it because like I'm and maybe because I'm older or whatever. But I mean, again, I use the computer mainly for either I'm writing some shit or I'm watching some shit, which I would be watching on any screen. You know, if it was a TV or yeah. you know. Well, your habits are probably better. I've been just fucking around on the internet since so I was like. Yeah, since you're fourteen. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Since dial-up, because when dial-up happened, I was like a, you know, lonely teenager. So I was just yeah, I guess forever. I was like a, there was bulletin board systems when I was fourteen. What is that? Some old ass shit that I never really got into too deep. But I had a friend who was a really good programmer, and he was whatever, uh, system operator or whatever, sysop or whatever on, uh, some and and uh, so he you oh. know it was it was some early fucking, um, shit like, twenty eight k modem shit or or even. 14k whatever the fuck like I remember he had a 56k and it was top of the line mm. at the time uh, but yeah, yeah it was uh, 
some it was a precursor to like um, it, web pages and shit like that. Yeah. And only the programmers could navigate because they knew their shit. See, that's what it, when I think of the internet, it I feel like it's weird that people are on Facebook and like like most people are on it. Like I still see it as that nerdy niche thing. <laughs> so when people complain about like oh there's people on. For, all these Nazis on 4 right, and all that right, shit. Yeah. I'm like, well, wait, that's the internet. It's like yeah, they, basement it's, dwelling, like, nerd, like that's what it is. Yeah, exactly. In, inherently. Exactly. It's all so these you guys are the weird, You guys are, tweeting about your fucking breakfast, like, you're the weird ones. Right, like, because just let it, to like, be. You could let it be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah the, one of the things that I um, figured, whatever, thought when I saw, like, especially when Twitter exploded or whatever, yeah. with, the, with the argument explosion or whatever, was uh-huh. that there was... It, a lot of stupid whatever fucking pointless yeah. uh, bitching back and forth or whatever about every fucking thing uh, it reminded me of the uh, the old school oh, oh you're, you're <laughs> I know right is- yep I got cell phones and landlines and oh god you made it louder I'm good at fucking technology that's for sure look at that the um who do you think calls you uh, on that? fucking I get all I get is telemarketers <laughs> why do you get even on my small because it was you know, like 10 bucks more with the cable and so I use it like. Oh, for, they got you on that thing where they're like, all right, we'll give you all three. Two. We'll give you a but one. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get the cable TV or whatever. But I, I, I had it for a while. I was like, you know what, fuck it. But now it is all fucking like, just fucking constant advertising. Yeah. And wrong numbers, like of previous <laughs> people who had the phone number, going like, you owe us fucking money for that fucking speedboat or whatever. Fuck. Oh, scams. No, 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 like actual, this whatever douchebag had my fucking, no, I'm making that, but like some random shit. Like people calling, uh, one of the things is that so apparently somebody who had that phone number last had, uh, was buying property or something. Uh-huh. And so like, we, we've got a great house to sell you, or a great apartment to sell you. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you're not Henry? No. It's weird they haven't, we ran out of numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that's statistically mm-hmm. going to happen. <laughs> Are probabilistically going to happen eventually. It's a, it's a crazy. What were we talking about right before that fucking stupid phone rang? That phone call ruined everything. I know, right? Derail. Um, internet. Oh yeah, the technology. Yeah, with the, the fucking squabbling on you. On, oh, uh, the Twitter thing. Yeah, yeah, Twitter and even YouTube comments that were all shitty or whatever. You know, uh-huh. um, it reminded me a lot of the like uh, early internet days or whatever, like kind of mid to late nineties of. Uh, and the web TV, I guess, were for the more conventional consumer or whatever, mm-hmm. where there, there were these chat rooms where people would argue about religion and politics and all this other shit in the dumbest way possible because they didn't know anything about it. Right. But they would just fucking viciously argue with each other. And, and I would be seeing my friends, like, just reading through them to laugh at the people. But, like, yeah. even that is fucking annoying. <laughs> like, but, but then when Twitter like came the... out, it was like it mainstreamed that. Right. And brought all that out into the, into the world. It was like, did you... All right, you know, it's, but... Because it kind of consolidated it all as one place. Yeah. Because you should be in those obscure AOL message boards that you had to search out. Right. It wasn't as easy for the average Joe to get involved in the uh, uh, the discourse. (laughs) Now, which is good that people get involved, but it's just the the phasing in of participation of the masses is a hell of a fucking shit show. Of just they're they're learning not to be petty morons about everything. Yeah, it takes some time. Well, like, I, it's because they're getting rewarded to yeah, that too. Fight with then people. the corrupt incentives fight get with started. Yeah, yeah, where where the yeah. like button. Where yeah, suddenly the companies realize, oh, this is actually better for us if these people are dumb fighting suckers. Yeah, and and uh, we make more money off the advertising if we incentivize that. So then they never learn to get better. I wonder if the like button ruined everything. That's one of the things that I've heard people speculate about, about, like, because it gives people, like, some emotional, yeah, like, oh, I, I got a reward, you know. And I, even before Facebook, like, before the like button, you would write just, I don't even think there was comments either, but you would just write, like, an, some inane update, like, Jeremy is, like, drinking... Like, whatever. Like, it had an is before it. So I remember I look back at all mine, and it's just a bunch of nonsense. Then if you have a like button, you're like, all right, what can I what can I post to get the most likes? 
Yeah, that's you know another I mean? thing. Like that, I I guess uh, was aged out of. Like I never I never clicked like on shit. I never like yeah. until I got to Twitter, where it was like okay, now that it's was like a, a currency of a thing. Where it was like you would, it you would you would post on somebody's thing because you wanted them to be like yeah yeah fucking good shit. Um, but again, that was not really a. That was more of a like stupid ego trip yeah which I guess the whole thing is so I had Facebook or I had it in college back when it was only I think I had it like the first year I mean like or like the year after Harvard did in like 2004 and it was like only for college kids yeah I remember that that's how they phased it in yeah and it was just like but you wouldn't post anything you wanted anyone else to read besides your you know drunk friends like you're like right. hey let's meet up at Scotty's it, later you know right it was more private in a way yeah because it's just college kids and that's a good way that phase it in uh, I often parallel it to the way Elon Musk fa- phased in the fucking Tesla cars or whatever with the fucking uh, the, the Ferrari type first uh-huh. before you get to the fucking low level consumer idiot or whatever mm-hmm. that, that uh you start with the the most sophisticated, and similarly, Facebook started with these all these college kids, especially like whatever Stanford programmers and shit. Yeah, like started them. with all only yeah. Ivy League, right? Yeah, and like so, super smart people use it first, and and then it spreads down the dumb pyramid, and like mm-hmm. eventually everyone gets it. So that by the time the fucking stupid squabbling occurs, everybody's dug in already. Yeah, like I remember, I was kind of early on with like, I guess I was like trolling like. Identity politic, politics, kind of before, like just as a joke, I wasn't even thinking about it. Like I remember I made all these groups because remember you can make these groups. So I was like, what stupid group could I make that people will like identify, Facebook identify with? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I made one called the uh, the Apple Africanos, and I wrote like, this is for black people who use a- Apple computers. We like just like a f- just like oh, just like a trolling. You were yeah, okay, just like okay. a joke. I'm like, I bet people will like identify with that like just some fake thing right or like other black people guy that trolling uses. or other people trolling be, pretending to identify with shit well I I could see who it was so it was all these like oh, it was actually black people. guys and ladies and they're like yeah I love the iMac that's one of the, and I was like I was like wow this is stupid like what, their pride is just like it's absurd. one of the problems with any sort of political movement it can be easily trolled or co-opted or yeah. anything like anything uh, no matter how uh, even legitimate yeah. even if it's a, not a, an initial troll thing it can be easily uh, subverted and that's one of the problems with uh, being engaged politically in a superficial manner and because because it can get so yeah. easily it, I mean it's it's there's futility at this point you know mm-hmm. but it's it also can be so corrupted from its original intention or whatever and yeah a number of people I mean, did that. a number of people Twitter. did wave more fucked up trolling uh, and, and uh, you know all the I mean, it even goes beyond the internet shit. I was talking with someone the other day about the fucking, um, the tactics of, like, uh, that douche, or the douche who made himself famous as being a douche, uh, Tucker Max or whatever. Tuck, oh, yeah, Tucker Max. Like, yeah. I never saw the movie or anything, but, like, the book, um, he had a PR agent who was a famous writer or whatever, Ryan Holiday or whatever, and he wrote this book or whatever that apparently mm-hmm. was big with fucking uh, uh, online communities and, like, it started as like an online journal, just the frat boy, like. Right, no, but he, around. but this other guy, Ryan Holiday, was it was his PR agent. So he was like the guy who would market, and they what they would do is they would go out and buy advertising billboards and shit like that, and then they would deface their own oh, billboards yes. and get news press about like <laughs> they would pretend that they were feminists or they would pretend that they were whatever, and they would fucking like subvert it and. You know, some people didn't fall for it, but a lot of people did fall for it. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the problems of, again, um, when anything is too obvious um, or superficial, it can be uh, whatever gamed for, mm-hmm. for any purpose. So real news out- outlets were, were, were covering the, the defamation, like... Yeah, 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 you know yeah, they, yeah, they pretended like they... they committed a crime on against themselves but the news actually the news bought it yeah bought it. yeah oh, nice. and so they would like yeah and they and so they would actively go out and do that sort of thing on purpose to try to to sell um their shit uh fucking uh, i was even joking with somebody recently about like uh doing a fucking uh, uh like if i got arrested for a pot it isn't illegal here but like in mm-hmm. in some other state or whatever on tour or whatever 
or, or fucking acid or mushrooms, whatever, you know, that kind of thing or whatever, um, that it would be great press. <laughs> and so I might intentionally do it at one point. Well, comics have, the, they have these fake heckler videos. Where they're no, like, they're fake heckler. I've there's seen so many. Oh, uh, there's fake ones? That, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I not all of them are yeah. fake, obviously, but there's a bunch of fake ones. Wow. Especially guys that are like, you know, like, Going through their videos, like, well, wow, it's like thirty heckler videos. Like, no one gets, I guess he gets heckled <laughs> yeah. a lot. Yeah, something or, about it, and he's or, filming it yeah. a lot too. What yeah. a, yeah, <laughs> heckler gets owned, and it's just right, like, right. Eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but what I was saying, like, I would they, feel bad, like, putting out a video or or putting out doing something like uh, promotions wise, like falsely. So I would. Not mm -hmm. if I was to do that, I would tell the cop while I was doing it. I would tell everybody. I did this intentionally. Like I did, and as the cops arrested me, I'm like, "You're my marketing agent. You're fucking helping me out right now by arresting me or whatever, you know." And like, fuck with the whole situation, <laughs> and eventually, you know, you get to the point where I tell every whatever press it got. I would then talk about how I did it on purpose because look how stupidly superficial our system is. Now, you think anyone's ever done the gone to jail? On purpose? Yeah, Paris Hilton. Britney Spears, probably. Like any number of people, it's very possible that they've done that. I sort would of think thing more like of, rappers, like trying to. Yes, yeah, that was one of the things I was. That, image, that was one of the things I was, I was. I was when I was talking to this person the other day. I was like, yeah, this is actually done, being done with rappers, like many times for yeah. smaller crimes. And I, and I was talking with them about you have to optimize. You don't want it to be a felony. Oh, yeah. You don't want it to be a misdemeanor, but just like, but not too bad. Of one, you know, so maybe rape you like a child. Oops. <laughs> it's oh, great shit. for PR. It's not so good for PR. <laughs> Killed in prison. Right, right, right. Um, but yeah, yeah. So is that that kind of thing? But yeah, rappers historically have supposedly done that. Well, didn't Rick Ross was in? He don't think people say he's full of shit. He tried. You know, well, like, he know. said he was in jail for like years, and I don't even think he was. But he just kind of. Oh, the whole like street lie. cred line. Yeah, but he took it to like another level. Yeah, where like his whole thing was based off this. But some like, people probably stuff. actually did go get themselves arrested on purpose, for yeah. you know because it creates a fucking. Uh, and I think I'm sure that's it's been commented on like that aspect of things because again people love like a oh, badass look, oh, look yeah. or or an injustice or whatever they're like look he got arrested for pot, and and like he shouldn't have you know that whole, so it definitely definitely gets you know people um. Uh, attention, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's 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 one of those things where it might be funny to play with that uh, aspect of it. If if like if I'm ridiculing it in the moment, so. But that wouldn't be able to be publicized, would it? The ridicule in the moment. That would be part of it. Is when it's ah. being publicized, I'd be saying, uh, "You." But I mean, what well, you told, said to the cop. Yeah, yo, no, no, not that. But like, um, if it, if there was any like you know press afterwards, you know, because it's not oh, like yeah. it's not like an initial phase. PR, it would have to be somebody would have to already be somewhat famous, mm -hmm. a little bit famous to have it have any effect. Right. If you're a no name, it doesn't <laughs> do shit. shit. <laughs> but no would, name yeah. gets arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in general, um, yeah, you, you could you could point out like the. Uh, the idiocy of all aspects of this, including the fact that you're being arrested for a, having a plant or whatever, you know, whatever. I got falsely be. arrested oh, for yeah. drunk driving. Dang. This was in 20, uh, when I was 22 or something. And you hadn't drank at all. Hadn't drank at all, but they, th well, they thought, I guess it wasn't drunk driving, it was driving under the influence. I was in Fresno and I hadn't slept in a day and I was driving up north to school. It was like the first day of class, like I got to make home. And I'd, I'd, I'd flown, I was on vacation with my dad. So I was like, I'd been up for like 30 hours, so I'm, you know, you know, exhausted and a little disoriented. So I'm driving and I'm like kind of falling asleep near Fresno on the five. And then a cop pulls me over. And the first thing he asks is, he goes, are you on methamphetamines? <laughs> and I go, no. Is that common in Fresno? He even said that, you know, usually, yeah, I think it is. Like you'd think they ask like, do you know how fast you're going? <laughs> yeah, goes, are you on math and fetters? I go, no. He goes, all right. Step out of the car. <laughs> and then I have to, like, he, he, he thinks I'm, like, high. And I hadn't shaven in a few days. And, like, I was a kid. And I had all the stuff in my car. And I, so it maybe it looked bad. 
But anyway, so I'm doing the, he's giving me the sobriety check. I'm walking the line. And the, I remember the line being a little out of slope, at a curve, you know. Yeah. And I was having a kind of a full on panic attack. Fuck. Because I'm being questioned. But I, I always get freaked out talking to yeah. cops. Oh, yeah. I always feel guilt. Like, I feel guilty walking out of a, like, Rite Aid if I didn't buy anything. I'm always like, oh, you know, I didn't. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just nervous. But, anyways, I'm doing this sobriety check and I trip. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, you know, I yeah, definitely yeah. tripped. And then as I, my hands are up, he pulls and he goes, you're under arrest. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God. And they kept looking at my eyes with the flashlight like that. And they, he's going to his partner. He's like, what is that? Is that, is his eye moving? I'm like, I don't know. So I was completely sober. And, wow. the, and they towed my car 90 miles away. Fuck. They had to end with the tow truck guy, pretty sure. Like, Sort of, oh yeah, yeah, sort some of sort of scam, yeah. relationship. Yeah, yeah. Because they, our car's ninety miles away. Like they towed it. And this is Fresno. This isn't like fucking, Podunk, whatever, Wyoming. Uh, whatever state I mean, it's doesn't Bodunk. have a lot of cities in it. It's Bodunk for California. I mean, yeah. especially on the five there. You know, there's all those cat and all the cow shit. I've never even been up there. It's pretty Bodunk, and I guess there's all. I I learned afterwards it's like huge, meth problem. So. I was also super skinny. I'm super skinny too. I just fit right, right. and and a, a lack got a profile of sleep, for man. being white. Probably if I was black, I'd probably be fine. The guy, he's just high on weed. But skinny no, but white it, guy, it, Fresno, it definitely meth. meth. But but you got the fucking. Um, eventually, you, did they pay for the shit or you? I totally still was in, in the jail cell in the nighttime. Uh, I couldn't pee because I was all pee shy and they're like watching me pee like five yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking. Cops, yeah. So they had to call some like poor old lady who drew my blood at like four AM and when they let me out I take a two hundred this is before Uber, I take a two hundred dollar taxi cab to my car. Fuck. And they didn't re- and then like a three hundred dollar tow truck. They didn't truck. pay you back for any of that shit? No, and I had I had a court day and then I, when I went they didn't show up because I'm sure they saw in the blood I was right, sober. Right. right. But they didn't even pay, like they didn't even get reprimanded, I don't think. Yeah, well I'm sure. What a don't fucking racket. Things, I was like, yeah. This is crazy. This yeah. is like it just happened in like the fifties, you know. You know still to minorities, but it just happens. It happens uh, well to them more often, but to people in general, uh, police forces across this world are corrupted so, in a variety of ways. Surprisingly corrupt for especially like California. I think they're pretty good. Apparently, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. That certain parts of California are very um, Alabama. Really? Yeah, like that, it could have been. Them. And I also remember I was crying in the back seat as as they're driving me there. And I said, I said, what if I'm telling the truth, officers? And then he just goes, you took too much, man. You took too much. Well, what? I took, took too much meth? I guess I took too much meth. <laughs> they also searched my car for like an hour. They didn't find anything. Yeah. That's insane. They're, That's... Like, they're like, you think he, uh, think he uh, ditched it? Oh they had all these theories. <laughs> they went searching through the fucking fields on the side of the road to see yeah, if they could yeah. find a bag of meth. Just absurd. Fucking Just because I was sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Oftentimes, I mean, they'll they'll give people a something for sleep deprived driving. Like there's some really? sort there's of substitute for. Um, they probably should. They need to. They should get a. It'd be cool if they had a test for that. Yeah, yeah, a tired driving test. Five Z's. <laughs> you're under arrest. You're driving with five Z's. More than two point eight Z's. You can't really yeah. test sleepiness, huh? Not yet, but um, eventually, probably. It's by a way. It test, seems like, it's too like percent mer- mercurial because you know sometimes you haven't. You sometimes you're all. It comes in waves and. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not a uniform, stable rate that you're at. You know, yeah. people go in and out of. You know, even a uh, blank out or whatever that occurs or whatever, or losing trains of thought or whatever, that's kind of nonlinearly whatever. And based on circumstantial distraction. Yeah, or you could just be hyping yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Fucking. Do you think some people have more energy than others? Like, there's definitely, definitely. Pe- people that need less sleep than others, which I've always been so jealous of. Yeah, but I've always I also, needed a lot of sleep. I also th- often thought that they were just people that liked making other people jealous. Oh, you think they're lying, exaggerating? Yeah, definitely exaggerating. I've I've known people who say, "Oh, I get three hours a night," and I, then I pushed them further and like, "Well, then I get fifteen hours on the weekend." <laughs> I'm like, "Okay, so you, you you catch up eventually." 
Um, yeah. But they liked the, the the aspect of like I do so much, right? And I don't need the sleep that you you were wasting your life is, with sleep. You know, it's like they're kind of like into being that badass mm-hmm. more than actually being the badass. There's a little myth making going on there. I know a guy who doesn't sleep much. But he's also a maniac. Like, yeah, that's the falling key. Falling asleep everywhere and stuff. Yeah, and narcoleptic or whatever. Or just just constantly dozing off. But he doesn't brag about it. But you see, Because you see the effects of it, too. But I see. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing. I have seen people like lose their fucking minds beyond any fucking insanity I've seen. It's from right. people who are sleep deprived. What's the longest you've gone? Oh, me? Not even two days. Hmm. I don't think. Like, and, and I, But I've seen other people claim to have been at like three days, four days, five days, and they were fucking gone. Like, yeah, the dude at five so days had already been through the phase where he thought he was God, was passed to, to where he thought he was a rabbit, and, like, was going around chewing on carrots. Like, fucking mm. nuts as fuck, institutionalized, just <laughs> because they stayed up for whatever the fuck purpose and somehow did enough stimulants to keep themselves awake. Oh, yeah. And uh, But, yeah, they completely lost their fucking minds. And, uh... I mean, I never, I didn't know them well, so I didn't know the aftermath. I just saw them mm-hmm. show up at places and be like, I've been up for four days, you know, and like, and then continue to just word salad. That must have been why the cops probably thought I was on meth, because I probably had the symptoms of sleep deprivation, which they see in the meth heads. I like maybe sort of my eye was, maybe there's a certain eye twitch that people that have been up for over a day do, and they probably just saw that, because yeah. that was what was happening. Or speech pattern, or, you know. yeah. Definitely, I mean, the tripping and falling was... But but still, you know... So embarrassing. It's still like a... Tripped and falling. Yeah, fucking... Uh, sleep deprivation is, is different. And again, the system... Same with drunk driving. The system isn't optimized. It's a little easier now with things like, uh, you know, the whatever, the rideshare shit apps or whatever that you can, you know... Um, and, you know, and taxis were always around, but they weren't really ubiquitous. These new... The new were systems or whatever are better yeah. um, people have other options that's the thing you have to give people other options um, my friend had a great idea hmm. about a new ride share app you want to hear it here's what you do you drive someone else you drive a drunk person's car home you're like their DD but you're just like so they call like you just hang out as your person like at a bar or something right so say you're drinking at a bar you go I need to get like Drivey to drive me home, and oh, there's a guy in the corner on Drivey. Okay, here, man, here are my keys. Drive me home. That way, you don't have to leave your car. Right. At a yeah. Place. So people and just hang out for one ride instead of Ubering twice. And all these people hang out at the bars. These, yeah. these employees of these ride share apps to take people home. Exactly. That's yeah, a great fucking. You, sure you, you don't did, drink. Did he say not to publicize that yet? I don't know. <laughs> no, no one's gonna do. No one does anything. It's just an idea. That's a fucking That's a good, good idea. idea though, That's right? a damn good idea. I would totally do. I mean, I deliver drive now. I would totally like if people paid fucking yeah. whatever. I mean, technically, that's what you know Lyft and Uber are. They they do that too, but they're on. But, but they're not like yeah, yeah yeah. I had a much worse idea, which is getting a bunch of car like like how the bird scooters are there. So just get a bunch of like demolition derby cars that you could drive while you're drunk. So you don't total your own car, so you, and you can just leave them on the sidewalk or like against yeah, you can still, buildings, like the way people leave birds, but just have like some shitty cars. You can just create, you're all drunk. You, you still in the car. run over people and yeah, and kill yourself. And then and if you get pulled over, you go, "Hey man, I'm on you know, demolition bird." And they go, "Okay, sorry, go ahead." <laughs> but that's a horrible. His idea is actually good. Yeah, it it could work. You know, for I'll drive your car home. And then, yeah, but then maybe it'd they, be hard because insurance. But what do nah, they I do? Think that's the rub. What do they? How do they get back from this person's place? You have to have a stranger sleep at your place. <laughs> They'll tuck you in for the <laughs> extra money. Um, maybe they have to take an Uber or something. But maybe right, right. Be but very then that's cost costly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they could take one of the I don't know, the bird scooter. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Yeah. Especially they <laughs> oh, yeah. live in the fucking boonies. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking a. Uh, but it probably wouldn't work as of insurance if you're driving yeah, yeah, oh yeah. some idiot's car and you crash and kill him. Unless people's... I thought that was a thing that you could have, like, um, that there was a way to do insurance where you can have a friend drive your car. They're insured also. That if a, if, a straight, if another person is driving it, it it's covered also. Oh. 
there's a way that you can d configure that. Hmm. But I don't know for sure, but I think so. In which case, that would work for that. But um, still, the person who's at these bars would want to not just do it once, but they would want to go back and forth yeah. constantly. So they would have to have like a... You gotta think of the second half of it, you know. Yeah. There would have to be some sort Maybe of... Maybe they have like a bicycle and they put the bike yeah, in the yeah, trunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a motorized bicycle. Sure. So they yeah. could just lawnmower that shit up and get back to the bar. Yeah. If it was for short distances. Now, has there been a lot less drunk driving deaths since Uber? There must be, right? I don't know, but I would maybe think the so. text. Now it's just texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> sleep deprived. It's transferred over to texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I've seen stats like drunk driving kills as many people as sleepy driving. Really? Yeah, which is like some crazy shit. Especially, uh, it's common in truck drivers. I That's think, why I, whenever I drink, I do a lot of coke too, so it <laughs> balances out. Hell yeah. I used to drunk drive all the time. Like yeah, when when I you're a kid, it's whatever. Amazing. When I was when I was sixteen or seventeen. Oh my god! The yeah. Stupidest. Just all testosterone and. Yeah, yeah, and just I all. I couldn't imagine doing that now. Poor solving of situations too. So you know, poor. Because you're fucking sixteen. What the fuck do you know? You know. So and it's I like drive more at aggressively. Party, I have to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember playing chicken. The other people while weren't drinking? even. Yeah, but they weren't even like involved. Yeah, oh yeah, that plenty so, of times. Plenty. So of there's times. like you know yeah. these old these long but sober. Riding your It's like oh, I, oh sober. I did it drunk, which is worse. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah. just gonna drive on the other side so they move. Like that is like suicidal. Yeah. Every time I was I'd been drinking at all, I was super cautious about that shit. Like would always drive in the far right lane, try to be behind and in front of somebody yeah. else. Like you know, super cautious, but. But yeah, when I was sober, stupid fucking driving. Like, I'm still fucking too stupid driving or whatever. Try to, you know. I've gotten pretty safe. It's fucking, um, you know, especially delivery driving, it makes, it totally fucking amplifies the road rage. Like, just. Oh, really? It's so annoying. Do you have a like, weapon? No. Like a bat under the <laughs> no. seat? No? No, you just get, I don't know, I guess it's not qualify as road rage, but I just get pissed and go, motherfucker. No, that's, you know, road, that that's road rage. Yeah, yeah. If you get pissed and. and Swear, then I suppose yeah, you're yeah. angry. It's yeah, but uh, but uh, you get used to it to some extent, and I try not to, you know, deliver where it's like there's a lot of fucking traffic, mm. you know. Yeah. But there's still some. This is L.A., so there's there's some around the corner all the time. You know, I did mushrooms once, and I had no road rage for three days. But you usually just, do have a hefty load of it. Decent. You know, a decent amount. Is that okay. a laser? Did you see that? No, what? I thought I saw a laser. You thought you saw a laser like a, light? Maybe it was that light. You know? Like a fucking sniper's like a, yeah, fucking... Yeah, I thought there was a sniper. I mean, it's possible. I am probably on hit list. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I hope I'm... Am I seeing things? No. <laughs> but I... Uh... No, that is possible. It's the reflection of that. Those lights, yeah. What was I saying? See, there's that thought train derailment. <laughs> Shit again. It's circumstantial. Are we getting dumber? Laser lights, all sorts of circumstantial distractions can affect the shit. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, we haven't drank anything or smoked pot. But I've been sober. For, oh, we're talking mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. But no, I've been sober for 120 days. Just getting dumber every day. What from but, sobriety? Uh, I I don't know maybe, but anyways, I when I did mushrooms once, I remember not getting road rage for three days and it felt it was so fun I remember like laughing but it tapered off and suddenly you came back to it everything tapered off yeah but you but you handled it it was like almost a strategy defense like it became you laugh at it instead of getting angry because I've yeah. also done that as a strategy like and but especially I, it wasn't even a strategy it was just I think the mushrooms like, subconsciously something it became, clicked like, like whenever someone did something stupid on the road I would just laugh yeah, yeah. Well, I have, I have actively, I've tried to intentionally use that as a strategy yeah. to stop the anger because it is funny when people do stupid shit. It is funny, right? And it is definitely it healthier doesn't to really laugh matter. at it. Right. Unless I'm like really late. Right. And I try but to. If I'm not late. It's yeah. like who cares? Like, yeah. What five seconds? Right. And when you're delivering, you're always late. It could be like an, it's either an old guy or like a fucking anybody. It's just there's, be, there's stupid so many fucking scenarios. people. Yeah. yeah. But but yeah, instead of being like mother. You know, it's better to be like, Dad, what a fucking moron. Yeah. Instead of fucking moron. You know, there's, it, it is entertaining in a way, 
This, so one, like, wow, this one comic person. had this good joke. He's like, he's like, you know, whenever I'm out there on the road and I'm, you know, I'm giving a little beep, I like to think of my beeps as little lessons. <laughs> really, uh, really made it sound stupid when you beep people. It's like, hey, yeah, yeah. don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, for next, I'm giving yeah. you a little lesson. Yeah. So like, oh, Being the kindergarten teacher on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you remember who the comic was? Uh, it's like Dominic uh, Derkus. He's doing okay. some shows. It was like 10 years ago. I just remember that joke. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking badass. Badass, man. Yeah, yeah. So, the fucking, uh, so yeah, stand up. Stand up, man. <laughs> You've been writing stuff. I think you need, yeah. to, you need to mention, spend five seconds, I was just thinking of this on the way here, mention five seconds just your clothes thing. For people that don't know on stage. Oh, okay, like why the uh, fuck? Maybe I you have. On stage I do. Maybe yeah, you yeah. just don't at fourth wall because most people know you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Occasionally but I'll do a bit. I, I, just, I just, I think of that. I'm like, oh, you should, because I was, with, I was with a friend who had never seen you and I felt like I almost had to tell him, like, oh, he's not like, he didn't just wander off the streets from a dumpster. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I have to address it. It's and the I, first time people like see Most people me. don't have to do that. Right. They dress no, but, but yeah, no, that's a famous... No matter what, if, if you're maybe, whatever you are, like, if yeah, you yeah. have something very unique... Yep, yeah, you have to address it or they're going to be thinking about thinking it the whole about time. about it, like, wait. Yeah, yeah. the whole time going? they're like, what's yeah. that fucking thing? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's a, that's generally been a, a strategy I have to employ as far as like starting sets, especially longer sets. Yeah. The beginning has to do that. So I and I still have a component of that, like, um, you know, in in the stuff where yeah, the first couple bits are pertaining mm -hmm. and segueing into the other stuff via talking about why the fuck I look like this. Yes. Because yeah, that is hugely. Because uh, you are appropriating homeless culture. Am I? Am I totally? I'm fucking... You're inappropriate, yeah. You're, uh, See, I never looked at it like that because it was kidding. just like deteriorate. No, no, but you know what I mean. I, because people do think of me as homeless guy mm -hmm. in any number of uh, mics that I show up at. They're like, yeah. The most, the best smelling homeless guy <laughs> in the world. There you go. There you go. Because, uh, of, yeah, because I'm not homeless. But, but fucking, uh, it, it definitely, uh, yeah, the, the deterioration thing or whatever wearing clothes until they fall off yes. is, uh, yeah, I mean, that's stranger than being homeless. So it's something that definitely <laughs> has to be addressed. Has anyone ever given you a dollar on the street? No, but there have definitely been times where people were like, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, so, I'm not interested either, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm get some coffee. I'm not about to ask you <laughs> for anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, and oh. just walking in various places, you know, grocery stores and other shit, where people, everybody immediately is like, you know. But that's one of the reasons I have a bit about that. Like, you know, I, I enjoy, I get off on people judging me. So, like, there's a, <laughs> an element to, you know, seeing that look from the soccer mom or whatever. Uh, you know, derisive I looks. Yeah, I think it's not not like in a you know. I I, I like, like again. It's the rebellion. The, it's the stupid people thing though. It's more. It's less rebellion. It's more like a. I can't believe that that person cares this much about right. this. Yes. And it, and that's funny to me in the same way that you know human stupidity is in, in other ways. So it's like an entertainment it's sort like of a filter thing. almost. You can filter out those yep. people. That as well. I have a new thing I'm working on where it's a screening process. Yeah. Because because if they fucking if anybody that's talking to me has a problem with this, well, where do they hear about what I fucking think? <laughs> it's funny. fucking over. The, you know, like so. Yeah, it does help uh, screen and avoid a bunch of uh, awkward situations and angry situations from people being like, "You what, motherfucker?" You know? <laughs> have you ever seen this where there's a, like a very meek homeless guy and you could tell that they've maybe only been homeless for like a few days or a week and it's very hard for them to um, ask for change like you could almost their volume is very low uh, it's so you sad can tell like, that they're new to it yeah they're like oh, excuse me hey can I borrow like and I'm like oh man like there's still some remaining pride that's going down but yeah or just shy shyness maybe shyness, they haven't okay. lost all their uh or shamelessness. Did like, cause I, I, a number of people have, whatever, pride is a fucking weird thing, but like, whatever, the shamelessness Whatever it society, is, they're just, they, I see it as not, they're not practiced well in it. Right. right? But I was, Same way someone on stage at the beginning is just like, yeah, yeah. Talking too fast, or like, you know, their eyes are drawn around the room. Right, it's like right. that with, 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 with begging. Yeah, yeah. They, they're uncomfortable, they get all the experience with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it is weird that that's a, begging is a skill. 
a it is though. A natural, it's totally a selling. A natural skill. It's salesmanship. Oh yeah. At its the, finest. It's at its purest. It's yeah. It's it's like a check this thing. Just make sure it's still going. Yeah. Hell yeah. The um. Yeah. It's totally fucking. Uh, uh, you're selling nothing. <laughs> That's hard to sell. You're selling ne negative. Yeah. Actually. Give yeah. Me money. Give me. For no I like day. the ones that are like, give me a dollar and you can punch me in the stomach. Oh, the bum fights the kind of shit. Ones, yeah. yeah, the old school. Uh, I'm like, can I give you a dollar, but I don't want to. I don't want to touch you. Yeah, yeah I don't want to hurt anybody. But, but there are some people. I guess they're they're just hey, they're, it, that is providing a service to psychopaths. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think psychopaths gravitate. Maybe they'll just. I think the psychos will just kill them for free. No, yeah, yeah but not kill them, but like beat them or whatever. Like uh, I think it's just kind of a novelty. Like you're partying, you're like yeah, okay. I played slap for slap with a homeless guy once, which was a game I invented at college where it's like, and I saw this on some like Russian s sporting event. Just so Russian. It sounds like it's so a Russian. So Russian, sort of oh my God. It's like, there's just these two blockheads and like one slaps them in the face and the other person slaps the other in the face. And I don't know how you win because that sounds like it just ends It's there. just a, an endless like tough there guy might be a, kind of contest. Yeah. Yeah, and like, they try to get a certain part of the face to make the loudest slap. Maybe it's the loudest slap. Okay. Uh, Best sound. But I used to play to this damage. game. Yeah, or maybe style. I don't know. <laughs> but I used to play this game in college, and I was a big drinker, big, like, uh, mascus. I always wanted to get like punched or something. I don't know. Why I was working through shit. But I, I played with a homeless <laughs> guy once on my twenty-first birthday, and his hand was as black as coal just like hardened homeless guy and he slapped me with this fucking dark so you're saying it was coarse and, and oh yeah and it was, scraped it up was, and like it was like black pavement right right and right just right. slapped the shit out of it so it scratch and that was like the ultimate slap for slap oh yeah it did it scratch the fucking I was probably blackout drunk oh yeah <laughs> I used to always talk to I used when I used to get really drunk. I used to always just talk to the homeless people for like hours. Yeah, like, hey, there's a lot of interesting stories, man. Oh, totally. A lot of interesting people, a lot of cool people. I, I have yeah. a bit that is like for sure. ragging on our um, uh, society for uh, allowing it yeah. because there's a lot of contribution. People think of them as like useless idiots, mm -hmm. but in large part, I'm sure there's a lot of um, maybe people with uh, less than optimal social skills or uh, you know a little half Asperger or whatever mm -hmm. geniuses even that couldn't cut the fucking cookie cutter yeah. that our society tries to put everybody into the factory kind of thing. Um, and they, they could have they done any number of things, invented any number of things, cured any mm -hmm. number of things, but we'd rather them sit on the side of the road and fucking in their own shit begging for whatever. You know, because, you know, there's different types of intelligence, you know, and a lot mm -hmm. of super smart people are uh, completely inept in other ways, especially like, uh, yeah, so, so yeah, the, that whole... Uh, you know, society might consider the contribution they're losing from people, uh, but they, but it, society won't. It, it, will, it won't do that at all. It will. Well, what do you mean? Society will continue to do, exploit uh, stupidly. All societies kind of like are caught in this fucking uh, inertia, I guess, of uh, whatever the previous, you know, authority and profit systems are that are, that mm -hmm. were like kind of like game into the best of the degree, you know? Like the Russian example, the Chinese example, the North Korean example, the American example, the British, you know, fucking even Sweden, Ecuador, whatever the fuck. Um, there, there's a dug in, you know, a historical lock in of like who were the people who were in charge and how enlightened were they or how mm -hmm. scientific minded were they, or how, um, you know, fundamentalist were they, how, whatever it was, kind of digs in a, a rut of future history in a way mm -hmm. and ours we have a, we have a ton of homeless people especially in major my neighbor was getting crazy yeah I think there's just a lot of it's like I guess I think the good heroin is now under this bridge near my house like there's mattresses in my alley and there's homeless guys sleeping in mattresses I'm like man la di da like it's and I was like that's nice there's like multiple mattresses and there's yeah, like, yeah, like tents you see the tents I feel like that's better than a tent, right? Well, well maybe they in have mat. Oh, I didn't even yeah. think of that. Yeah, in the tents, I'm sure there's some fucking like leather couches or whatever. They're living it up. I mean, that's a house. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's a your fucking... room's a mattress and a yeah, yeah. stucco. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, I was, I was actually uh, talking, uh, a friend of mine from Finland who was visiting here was telling me, you know, because she sees homeless people all over the place in LA. Yeah. And she's like, uh, yeah, we, we have homeless people in Finland too. And again, I like question further. Yeah, yeah, you do, but they but they uh, make they get a government check though every month, right? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, they have plenty of money. They don't. Mm. They're they're just choosing to they're live. Cam- they're, they like they're camping. camping. Yeah, they're <laughs> camping full time, and I'm like, because they can go anywhere and get food from the government, right? And she's like, yep, and and they can get anything they need, covered. She's like, yep, everything's covered. Uh, there's no ruthlessness. There's no coercion behind. Now they must situation. get treated so differently, right? Yeah, probably. They're not because they're not in a position of desperation, so they're not begging from people. They're just people who live outside. Hmm. Well, what about the really mentally ill? Like yeah, yeah, I'm sure they have PTSD. Well, I know they do have better whatever mental health facilities and healthcare in general, so that they probably that probably covers that. Um, maybe some of the people living outside are that because you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, probably because el- everywhere else that seems to be the case, hmm. um, but. To whatever extent other societies or any society treats us mentally ill and has adequate facilities mm-hmm. uh, that do the best that current medical science technology has to offer, uh, you know, the less of that there would be. Yeah. But uh, I had the saddest experience. I there was this homeless guy right near my house, very mentally ill. I don't really know what it is. Maybe like. Like, probably schizophrenic, but, like, internally, it, it looks like. He just has that thousand-yard gaze at all times. Yeah. And I, at one time, he asked, you know, walk by a coffee shop. He's like, he can't even barely say, can I have a dog? He's like, can I have money? You know? And I was like, oh, sorry, I don't have it. And, like, I really didn't. And I was like, oh, I'll get him on the way out. So then I had my coffee. And, then like, 20 minutes later, I was doing whatever. And I come back out, and I was like, oh, here, man. And I was giving him, you know, three bucks. And he goes, oh, no, I, I, I got it already. So he, he, he had already gotten, like, what he needed. Huh. Two dollars. So he begs con- conditionally, contingency based. Yeah, but I I saw it as oh he has he has no ability to say of, of yeah no of, conception of saving. Yes. Yeah, and which, that, me, which that is made, an interesting cognitive. And it made me so sad. Yeah, it is a strange maybe um, I don't know if that's cultural if that or if that is literally in his uh, cognitive it's, capabilities. No, it's cognitive. I mean, he like he just didn't understand the concept of saving. Yeah. Even for the an hour from now yeah. when he's thirsty but it yeah. almost had this like moral element you know like I'll only ask yeah I, that's only, what I needed like two dollars for a piece of pizza right it seems more I like that I don't need it anymore maybe next time right I would feel like I was exploiting you by asking you for that when I didn't need it right now <laughs> yeah but what if you can't find it later I know yeah there's that like his moral again that's and what I, I think I a lot of homeless people are too I, like, oh, I think a lot of people their morality their ethics supersedes their own self interest yeah which is somewhat of a dangerous position to be in mm-hmm. in certain ways like I can see whatever the philosophical merit of such a position that's like that famous dude who lived in the ancient Greece and the fucking whatever the edge of town by the sewer or whatever lived in a pipe or some shit like some What's aqueduct that? pipe or something I forgot what his name is Diogenes or something like that a famous dude who would like wear a barrel or something you know right, that kind of yeah, shit yeah. Um, and, and, and was supposedly the wisest of the Stoics or some shit like that. But like, but he was, he's a famous uh, old, not, you know, he doesn't have a lot of writings or whatever, but yeah. a dude that people talked about kind of thing. Um, but yeah, there's that whole thing like the monk style living or whatever. The monks, in Tibetan monks, whatever, they, they beg, they go around and like knock on doors and like, mm-hmm. uh, or at least I've seen an old video of that, like where they'll, they'll ask people for just what they need for that day. And that's part of their kind of routine oh, is to go around. And the people are like freely, yes, we have given you the social permission to live a uh, nomadic, unstable lifestyle. It's like Burning Man. Never been, but is that, that's what people do there? Well, they, it's a, they barter, and you don't bring any money. Okay, you just trade. Just trade hmm. for what you need. But there's probably one guy just hoarding everything. Yeah, I would imagine you there's somebody I mean? trying to solve the fungibility problem there. Which is that whole why money exists thing, of you know that you yeah. can't trade a cow for fucking an orange. So they call it a to... gift economy. Okay. Yeah, but there's a limit to the so um, maybe, precision of a gift economy. So maybe it's not even barter, but it's gift based. Maybe you maybe you aren't even allowed to barter. You're only allowed to give. Oh, okay. You bring stuff to give. So it's, it's not like a trade this for that. Money. It's a here's some acid. Yeah. yeah. Here's some acid. But, and, that, but oh, here's some... someone could just exploit that and yeah. 
it seems like it's get the a, most gifts. It seems like it would very quickly stabilize into a gift economy if it was not, or um, into a um, trade economy. From right. A gift economy. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I've never. I've always heard of Burning Man, but never been and never uh, really. You should go and wear like a suit. That'd be funny. <laughs> Get then, then it would be like that's my like escape or whatever. Yeah. From the the normalcy of. Get a monocle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, top hat, all that shit. And then you bring a bag of money. Yeah, with a dollar sign on it. Fucking. <laughs> get burned a lot. <laughs> fucking hell yeah! It's weird. Pe- that there's so many people that go that like. They're like, oh, only three people died this year. It's pretty good. Cause it's like three out of like half them, a man. million. Yeah, but oh, that, that's like that's pretty good. Like wow. in most towns, like, or maybe it's like one or two, but it's like, that's considered like. Right, right. Not a lot of death. And it's in, in the fucking desert too, isn't it? Right. If oh, old yeah. people go, they're gonna fucking it's like dust, overheat. Dust storms. Yeah. Well, now they have this thing they call it um, glamping, where they they have these like luxury vehicles and accommodations. So they're like barely roughing it you know they're, spe- okay. they're spending yeah, yeah. like tens of thousands of dollars on and if people nice RVs and do stuff. they have those rules like I think Arizona has a law or something where you need to give people water or something like that yeah. there's some shit like that if they need it if they're like so if they're out in the desert I'm sure they right. have volunteers that just have water yeah yeah they go around hosting they should people get down those dogs need. really the fucking St. Bernard's the wheel yeah. the, with the whiskey the barrel dogs yeah, 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 yeah. some LSD in it to help the hippies <laughs> Fuck, I'm not yeah. tripping. I'm not tripping. Yeah, there used to. I mean, in the fucking hippie era, I think there were people who went around. There's probably still at those fucking uh, music festivals and stuff. People going around just gift bagging. Here oh, you yeah. go. Now you think the acid smoothies. is as good as it was? I don't know. I never did it then. You never done it? No, I did, never did it then. I did a fuck ton of it in the '90s. <laughs> like that's what I. I've done. Yeah, well over a hundred times. Fucking tripped, and. uh but I, you know, I did gel tabs, fucking, you know, paper, blotter acid, whatever, fucking uh, yeah. microdots, which is masculine technically or whatever, and fucking plenty of mushrooms too. But like it's, I never did the supposed, you know, initial stage, you know, the, the Leary days, Timothy Leary oh, yeah. and all that shit. That, that would be uh, potentially, yeah, a lot, even more. Although it might just be quantity of LSD-25 or whatever that you have, you know, because I had a... There were times where I did, you know, three hits, four hits, five hits, or whatever, instead of just one or two. What's the longest trip you've had? No more than, like, 12 hours, 14 hours, something like that, you know. And it was because I probably, like, did, like, two and a half to start, and then, like, another two, like, three hours into it, and then, like, Mm -hmm. another one or something, you know. So I kind of, like, prolonged it by taking it in uh, sequential order or whatever, as opposed to just one hit, you know, or one set of hits all at once. But yeah, yeah, that's usually acid only last like. I had a crazy one hours. that was like thirty hours. Whoa. I took it twice. You took it like but once and then hours later. Like that length, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you took it twice ever, or that in that moment. No, in that yeah, in that uh, trip. Like I took it and then I took one like twelve hours later, and it was like another like eighteen hours. It's so bad. It and probably some powerful stuff too. Yeah, that was the highest I've ever been. Yeah, one time... I literally felt like a broken... Well, not literally. I felt like a broken... Uh, I literally felt. That's the <laughs> biggest oxymoron you could ever say. I it's liter- all right. You could say anything. I literally felt... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're an acid. I've heard yeah. that... Maybe the, when you're an acid, you actually do. I don't know if the internet, like actual official dictionaries have changed the definition, but like culturally, the definition of, of literally means figuratively now as well. That is so funny. Yeah, like, you know, just in context... Literally, the exact same, also, <laughs> figured of like, Also, it's opposite. <laughs> but I felt like a broken robot when I was coming down, and my arms would just, like, twitch like a, like a, like a wire. You know when you're making those little wire things in science class to, like, make the light bulb right? Sometimes you mess it up and you get a little zap, or it goes right. on. For, it, I felt like that in my veins for, like... 12 hours just like every once in a while I'll get a jolt oh. it's so scary I'm, yeah, like, I'm, like, I'm like this is I'm, this is my life now but yeah then, but then I went to sleep and it went away huh. but it was so that perception is a common thing on acid too at a certain point you're like this is my life now because <laughs> it's so long because yeah. it's like yeah. but it's that's so a freaking thing long. to have happen to get be like sparking or whatever like 
30 hours, you're like, well, why should it change? I've never, you know, right, right. smoke weed the last, like, an hour. But, it, you know, yeah, why yeah. is this... And maybe you forget that you took more of it halfway through. Oh, yeah. And so it's oh, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was everything. the one stupid thing I did one time, is I did acid. We fucking tripped all day in the sun, fucking hanging out, all this sort of shit. And then... Uh, oh, no, wait, what the fuck? No, no. I, we drank all day. Uh-huh. Fucking up. We drank all day in the sun, fucking hanging out, and then took acid. Yeah. And that, then halfway through the acid trip, I got the hangover. Ugh. And that was fucked. That's what happened to me. Yeah. There's nothing worse than puking when you're coming down on acid. You're, yeah, I didn't. You're coming up. Yeah. On my, like whatever, when you're coming down on acid and you're puking. Never. It's like I didn't puke, but it was like that fucking pounding headache. Yeah. Just fucking like hangover shit. And the pounding is, at, you're tripping off of the right. pounding yeah, yeah, of yeah. your brain. Yeah, the imp- amplification of that with uh, hallucinogen is just, yeah, it was not pleasant. And I can't imagine, yeah, puking or whatever. I think I did it on yeah. mushrooms once before just from the taste or whatever, but like, that's Yeah, initial. that's nothing. Yeah. That's yeah. like fun. Yeah, yeah. But the, but the fucking, but to be in the trip Ugh. and fucking, uh, yeah, sick is not fun at all but you know luckily that's rare and uh yeah and uh within whatever legal limits I highly recommend hallucinogen <laughs> you know I don't, I don't know to, to what degree is a person responsible for recommending people do illegal drugs uh, uh, is that is there any legal liability for that because <laughs> uh, I do it in, in, all the fucking you're time you're not a lot investing you're supposed to say I think yeah. it's illegal to give investing advice I don't know why. why but, I, but I always hear like comics and other people say like, I'm not advocating it. Why? Why? You know, and it's essentially a lot of times they're joking too. They are yeah. advocating it. But like, I'm wondering if there is some sort of thing where like at a certain point a parent can sue, uh, you know, this, some singer in a band because they said, <laughs> you said that he should do the, the drug. I'd be like every band ever. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think there is a way. I think, no, I think it's people a... People are smart enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's going to be a... A lot of dumb people doing a lot of dumb shit, and it's yeah. up to, for people to make their own decisions, despite if some idiot tells you that you should totally do a lot of acid many times. I, I, was a at a, I, was at a, I was at an open mic the other day, and this guy said he was like kind of suicidal at the end, I mean, which you kind of hear all the time, yeah. but he seemed a little serious about it, and it like wasn't really a joke. Uh, and then uh, the comic going up after him goes, hey man, don't kill yourself. And the audience kind of like turned on the comic for some reason. <laughs> but he had like a weird set afterwards. Like the dude who said, don't kill yourself? Yeah. And then yeah. I went on afterwards and I was like, I was like, I've never seen an audience turn on someone for telling someone not to kill themselves. And I was like, I'm not going to tell you what to do, man. You do whatever you want. I don't want these animals yelling at me. Was it comics in the audience? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It was, just, it was just kind of a, a weird thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's so funny. Like, I'm about to say that someone in the room be like, <laughs> I think it was like don't tell him what to do man yeah if he if he wants to do it everybody yeah, knows kill, that's the hey, proper don't thing don't kill yourself live your life man that's the right solution to kill it. Yeah. Louis Louis CK has a great joke where he's like he's like I don't think anyone obviously no one should should rape anyone else unless yeah, unless, yeah. unless that person doesn't want to have sex with you then of course yeah yeah what else are you going to do <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's a similar like yeah play off of uh, the suicide is it's um and plus comics notoriously are like in favor of it a lot of right. times like it's such a weird fucking thing because I feel like most people agree that uh, euthanasia is good if you're yeah if you're dying you're, or whatever if you're fucking brain dead or you want to die you're really old you're in a ton of pain right right yeah euthan- everybody agrees well not enough people agree but yeah I think a lot of people do yeah hopefully it'll be Full, legal eventually yeah. But then people, then there's the other suicide, which is in the moment, like a, yes, like I'm moment. having, a, I'm going through an episode right, where I right. feel suicidal for like 10 minutes, right, and then I pull the trigger, literally. Right, right. So that's, yeah. but people don't really talk about the other, the other side where it's like, I'm in so much pain and I want to do this. Right, where it's well thought out, or is it, I, th- I don't know if it was you who told me about it, but someone one time was telling me about like the, there's a uh, plenty of studies and people who apparently uh, don't succeed in suicide uh-huh. of the thought a second later after they've yeah. already done it. I've heard that they when they when they jump, it. like the people yeah, yeah. that jump from the Golden Gate Bridge, 
almost all of them that survived felt regret while they're in the air. But I wonder if that's just a fucking natural human thing when you're plummeting. You right. Think, I don't want to die. I don't want to right, die. Right, right, right. It's a natural like, self-preservation reaction. And what kind? Of, what kind of brain could you have where you're like, yes, <laughs> this is what I am doing. Like, <laughs> those are the fucking monks that burn themselves, and that takes what, like, thirty years of practice. Right. You saw the guy at the DC one who burned himself. I heard about something in front of uh, the White House. But this guy was flailing around like an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, you're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to flail. So do Just those sit monks there. do those monks sit there and like burn their knee to test it? Is that part <laughs> Just of it? A little bit. They burn themselves was, yeah. increasingly over time. Start so at the can, hair. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't know. And eventually, you get to the genitals. You have, you have to burn the balls <laughs> to see God. if you can take that because that's going to be one of the toughest parts. <laughs> that's funny. And then eventually, you build up where you can self immolate They must do fully. all sorts of different pain stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. Icy cold. To build to that like the tolerance. Yeah. Stable, stoic, whatever. And then the big, sh- but then even then you're like, fuck, I don't know if I could handle full engulfion. Yeah, yeah, you never know, unless they've tested that too and then like doused them really quick. Uh, how embarrassing would that be? You're this badass monk, you're gonna do it, and you're just, ah, yeah, yeah. Ow, <laughs> and ow, all, the, all the monks judge you and hot. You. Like, what a fuck up, pussy. Yeah, that would be, uh, <laughs> they, the training of that must be funny. The fuck to see. <laughs> them build up that fucking thing unless it's just hot coals kind of shit and, and just needle pricks now do you want to go out like do you think about how you're going to go out I mean the the hope is that it's uh, for everyone I think is old mm-hmm. age you, or you, uh, you're you still healthy relatively and it's just very quick or in your sleep or you don't notice it or you have so much dementia I mean how you think of it though um, I don't really conceive of it other than like I hope for the best, you know, but that's. I think about what I, whatever. what I want to, how I want to feel about it right as it's happening. How you want to feel about, but you only get like, as it's happening is a is a is that a one minute window, a one second window, a one hour window? Yeah, like it could uh, be an hour. You know, and like you know, you're going out because like famously, uh, Aldous Huxley actually fucking. Uh, oh, he did dosed, that. He did LSD. Right? Yeah, dosed yeah. himself with LSD With on his, his wife, way out. right? Yeah, and his wife, um, his wife does. So. Yeah, and, and under his that was his wishes or whatever. Yes. To go out on a fuckload of it, not just a little bit too. And uh, yeah, so she kept increasing it, right? As he was something like that, like it was, but it famously, like that was the way he wanted to go and think in that kind of thing. Mm. Even though supposedly the DMT thing happens when you're dying anyway, where you kind of trip out anyway. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, so he so was, it's like his priming is. You don't really need the yeah. <laughs> no, he's double down. He's going yeah, down, he's double down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why maybe why he chose to do a lot. But yeah, yeah. In that sense, you know, you're thinking, you know. But again, there's probably because there's especially because most people don't go through that Buddhist monk training or whatever. Mm. There's probably overriding, overruling natural reactions within your own mind that no matter what you wanted to think about and like cherish the memory bullshit, you automatically respond like a squirrel would and like I don't want to die blah, blah. Yeah, you know that, see, that's whole, terrifying yeah that you really have no control in the moment of extreme pain and and or horror at the uh, prospect I I, Who am, knows, I am optimistic that maybe you can and there's something to it with these fucking monks yeah but it takes that, training exactly that's what I'm saying yeah, yeah. now what about this maybe similar to the Huxley what if I I want to make a big uh, bet like I want a dopamine hit from a from gambling. Now I guess maybe you would be like, oh, money is meaningless. Because right, because you're about to die anyway. But it would be cool to make a giant like twenty thousand dollar bet on blackjack as you're dying. Hit me. You bust. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, but wouldn't you keep playing until you lost all the money anyway? If you're dying like in the moment, what does it matter? It'd just be a. It'd be like that's the fucking biggest bet I ever made in my life. <laughs> and now it's over. But you would realize the kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool, cool to lose it all. Yeah, but what? And or what if you win? You'd, you'd be like, "Well, oh, great. What am I gonna do you with feel this?" Feel awesome. Now? You go out a champion. Yeah, but really, you'll you'll immediately think, "What am I gonna do? Buy a fucking speedboat?" Hopefully, you'll be dead by then. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> instantly. You win, you die. Cut your head off. <laughs> yeah, if they get, even that, you get like a second or two of chicken head kind of situation. Oh god. Of again, the extreme pain thing, the fucking. Uh, Running yeah, around, yeah, yeah. for your head. Yeah, it's a uh, so it's, it's stuff that supersedes any uh, thought of a rational or 
you know. I almost drowned. Have I told you that? No, fuck. And maybe this is why I think about it so much. But my thought was just embarrassment. I no wasn't terror. Terror and embarrassment. Okay. Because I was I was boogie boarding. You were embarrassed about that. Yeah, I was embarrassed about how like if it had been I, a surfboard, I was embarrassed be about how I was dying. Okay. And I thought about them finding my body with a boogie board. I thought about like, my. Oh. I thought about my dad, but I didn't think. I miss my dad. I think. Uh, He's gonna disappoint. I, I, I died, died with a boogie board. boarding on like I'm not even, you know I'm not in. That's like Jaws, Hawaii. I'm in like getting killed beach. on a tricycle or whatever. Yeah, right? and I'm thinking all this is I'm running out of air under the turbulent waters. I'm just like, ugh. This is how it is. Ugh, what a shame. What a shameful death. That seems different than the, the embarrassment of the boogie boarding. Or just the just the shittiness of the way. The way. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, so uh, at least probably. You know, it's probably what Steve Irwin thought as he was dying from a stingray. But he's like, really? It wasn't the alligator? <laughs> it was this? This, this complete, like, stingray's... You know, they hurt people all the time. They never stab people through the heart. Like, that's such a rare event for a stingray to kill someone in that way. That that he was like, but he was, you know, he was playing with fucking chance for, you know, extreme, deadly chance for so many years that it, it's interestingly, whatever, somehow. God, but that's so much cooler than just drowning boogie boarding. Well, yes, yes. In that sense, he was still stabbed through the heart with a stingray. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying, and similarly, though, he was probably like, what? This is it? It's like him choking on a bowl of cereal or something. But he's like, really? I'm, I was just fighting alligators, and now I'm going to fucking, like, a, it's a pretzel that did it in, you know? Like, I don't know. Stinger barb is pretty intense. Yeah, yeah, it is. But I wonder if you feel so, more, you feel better when you die at the hands of another person or of, of, of a fearsome beast like you... It, I mean, it's more natural, right? But it's also pointless in that moment. Just like winning that bet or losing that bet, it's like you're you're thinking about if you have that Buddhist training to be even capable of thinking about that in that moment. It's almost like instantly pointless, and you can't help but think that too, right? After that, right? Like what? That was pointless. <laughs> it's like right yeah, after. Maybe I'm romanticizing it too much. But I don't know, you know, because because it's it's like hard to first of all, it's hard to achieve that perception under that kind of level of stress. Yeah. But who knows? But if you get rid of the fear, maybe that's the key. Yeah. That at least I've had all these panic attacks where I think I'm gonna die and I'm always afraid of the moment. And I think there's a way to not be afraid of the moment. And that's what that's what I think I want. It's it's a weird it's weird to say want because it's like almost what I don't want you know it's eliminating the that's like the ultimate Buddhist thing of eliminating the desire to, to live right? yeah exactly exactly the desire to keep living the dangers of Buddhism <laughs> but, um, but but in that sense though the, the whole um, you're like romanticizing any of that even the I got you know I wrestled a bear and got killed or whatever you know like there's no badass to that to me that's just like Mm-hmm. Like any way, if you you know, if you throw a toaster in your bathtub, if you you know, jump off a two hundred story building, if those exist, if you if you fucking blow Abu up Dhabi. a car bomb, you know, like if you if you fucking uh, you know, if a plane flies into your house, whatever, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's all like, if there's time to think, it's like oh fuck, really, come on, you know. But like, some are more, some have more to do with bad luck than others. Right. Like if a plane is... Right, right, plane exactly. plane coming, it's like, oh, fuck. But if you're going... Into a bear cage, yeah. Or if you're in a boxing match where it's your fucking right. enemy. You go, right. All right, right, man, I know I could fucking die in this, you know. Putting it all on the line. Right, you know? right. There's but a then more isn't more it like... So as it's coming, I think you would feel less shame because you knew the risks. You yeah, knew, you maybe less shame, the but then to me, though, those all those... Um, Thoughts of like the the pride of competition are fucking. I mean, it's just my stupid philosophy that I come from. It, it's just mm-hmm. like, I think that is just like just dumb ape shit that we get caught up in, like where it's like I, I don't think there's any mm. I don't think there's any um, whatever uh, you know status or, or, or you know legitimacy or, or or legendary qualities or whatever you know um, that people get at you know 
their whole whatever after life of the the way other people perceive them after which is equally pointless. Oh yeah, I'm not even talking about that. So yeah. it's like um, you know their legacy or whatever you know that. that but don't you think there's something to be if you're doing something where you could pay the ultimate price, whether you're NASCAR racing, big wave surfing, bullfighting. I mean, like, those things are cool in and of themselves. Right. But like, but I think that's to what, be that's like, what makes them cool. To be proud of dying in the moment in that way. Maybe it's not pride, but you're like. If I'm a big wave surfer, right, I know whenever I go out there, there's a chance I could die. Right, right. And that's why, that's why it's so exciting. Or at least better to go out that way. Because I'm living. It's not like good to go out that way, but it's better to go out that way. Yeah. Given that, the other options. Exactly. Given the pretzel option. Than a pretzel. Or, or the, or a yeah. fucking, uh. I think you would feel differently even without training. And the pretzel, you go, oh, fuck a pretzel. The wave comes, you're like, all right, had a good run. Right, but if some you know, kid throws a few pennies out of two hundred story building, and they hit you on the ground, it's like motherfucking stupid kid. Yeah, like that was what it was, you know. Then it's like okay, you know. Yeah, so I gotta get that, like in a, you know. But that to me, that like kind of it borders on the what I consider philosophically speaking the idiocy of the the battle, like, whatever, valor, whatever that kind of like. Yeah. yeah fought him you know if I get killed whatever it's, uh, to me well, that's, that's like a um, young man's thing right? right but to me that's a dumb man's or I think that's half disa- mentally disabled thinking mm-hmm. like uh, you know why would you know again a young man's thing before we're a- old enough to realize that somebody's exploiting us that somebody you know yeah, uh, that, that, that's for? dangerous pointlessly that it's you know all that sort of stuff um, it's a, definitely common you know, and one of the reasons it made us, you know, whatever, so easily drink and drive when we were teenagers. Oh my God. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. We should have been fighting the, <laughs> the Taliban. <laughs> we drunk in a car. Exactly. Like like chicken. <laughs> chicken. With real with their real chickens. Right. Yeah. No, they did drove around in Toyotas and shit, <laughs> like souped up Toyotas with fucking trucks. Those fucking uh, big they ass Hummers. Maybe at some point, but I remember famously they they drove around these Toyotas. like big wheel Toyota Cameras. trucks. No, no, the trucks like that, uh, oh, yeah. and they would be a lot of them in the back with the fucking guns and the rocket launchers, and then like, and they would drive into the stadium and behead some bitch for showing her pussy, whatever the fuck, and you know this all the stupid shit that they did, but they did it like there was some name brand shit <laughs> in in their uh, whatever right. entourage. <laughs> fucking a. Uh. So yeah, we getting we getting close to this here. We got a. Uh, I got pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, I think we, we did it, we right? Call life, it, yeah. Life and death. Yeah, yeah. We talked about um, yeah, life, the universe, and everything in it. Uh, Douglas Adams shit. Forty two. Fuck yeah! And Fuck remember yeah. to buy Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> That's not advice. Uh, and uh, every other cryptocurrency that you think is gonna like outperform. Uh, for for when uh, what is all the conspiracy guys say? for when the dollar crashes and gold yes. crashes somehow you're gonna need cryptocurrency chain link because uh, I think chain link is the future yeah That's or else you're gonna have, have to go to Burning Man and trade a whole <laughs> bar of gold to get like a bottle of water <laughs> it's all yeah have, uh, have a good burn that's what they say oh really they have, have a, a fucking have a good, slogan have a good burn man uh, do you know it's like two weeks too. I didn't know how long it was. Two weeks long. That's a lot. It's a lot of. Uh, Might even be longer. Usually festivals are like three days or something. It would be cool to see the the burn though. You like fire, right? Like, cause they do burn them. They burn the guy. That's right. The, the energy of the fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. At the end. I mean, it's cool. That's that's some cool stuff. I mean, people like uh, psychologically human beings like ritual, and uh, and yeah, who doesn't like fire? Fucking animals like fire. I mean, when they're not being burned by it. When it's just... It's magical. Yeah. You can't stop staring at it. Yeah, it's a fucking... It's like a trance, man. It's a... The original TV. <laughs> All right, I gotta pee. <laughs> yeah. We done? Yeah, let's call this. All right, good stuff, man. Dude, thank you for doing it. Where's the bathroom? Oh, is it right yeah, there? Right, right around to the right. Sweet, man. Hope that was good. Fuck yeah. I mean, shit. Oh, you got another pair of pants. Yeah, that's the new 